Today's project is an ammo can attached to the radio rack for a little extra lockable storage. Going to clean and paint an ammo can. After spraying it down with a degreaser and letting it dry, I'm now gonna spray it with Rapco 383 Green. The ammo can now matches the radio rack in the truck. I am going to let it dry and then I'll install the locking pin. This is the ammo can locking hardware. Well, this is pretty straightforward. It says that I need a 5 16th drill bit. I'm gonna drill a hole. I'm going to then put the locking pin in. There's a rubber washer, regular washer, locking nut, and then I'll just tighten it down. I'm using a center punch to mark the spot that I want to drill. Now, I just need to install the pin. Let's see if it actually works. Cool. To prevent the handle from rattling when I'm driving, I have some magnetic tape and it has adhesive on the back. I'm going to place this underneath the handle. Um, as you can see, it will hold it in place. I used a pair of pliers and a piece of cardboard so I don't scratch up the paint and metal to flare out the sides to make it easier to open and close. I use a Sharpie to mark the bottom of the ammo can. It's gonna go in that hole, that hole. I drilled it out and it'll now just bolt right on. To further reduce any uh, vibration and metal-to-metal -metal contact, I lined the bottom with a sheet of rubber. It bolted on really well. It's right in the middle of the tray. Done. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.